Chime Scam Chime Review 2022. My name is Quentin Banks. Let's get right into this. A lot of people have asked me about this Chime and has have I received any of these alerts, meaning like a fraud or anything of that nature. Um, personally, I have not, but I will say that I haven't been using my car like I've you know like I haven't been using my car frequently like I used to, but I've never came across this, and this was a member of my channel, they began to say, has anybody seen this before, um, you T know what it's about, hoping they can, uh, clear it up, but yeah, so yeah, this is a, an alert that they received, now before we get into this, I do want to let you guys know as well, um, if you guys are new to Chime or thinking about Downloading Chime, they will actually give you $100 right now for downloading the application. All you guys got to do is use the link in the description. It is very, very simple, very, very easy to use. Now, with this Chime, we're going to see, you know, is this popular? Does this go on a lot, you know, regarding this? Now, let me get it right here, too. Right to this. Now, this seems like this was an alert that they received that says Chime, your debit card was declined for $7.33 at Michael's transactions at the merchant are being blocked due to excessive fraud at this location now i've never in my life seen this now i don't know if they're going off of like you know this this place this this work you know maybe they they're receiving a lot of fraud through chime or maybe they're receiving a lot of fraud in general and they're blocking all transactions for a certain period of time you know i have heard something like that go on where you know, um, these places, they'll put holes, they'll block certain time frames, you know, so let's just say like a three to five or something like that, like that time frame, they'll actually block, um, they'll actually block any transactions just due to the fact of a lot of fraud has been going on around those times. Now, everybody is different, you know, um, everybody is getting it now as far as these alerts but in the same sense i will say um for the most part everybody is um the location is different you know as this one says michael's i'm not too sure if, if i've ever been at michael's or what is michael's you know because that's just such a you know a uh like a, it's it's like a general name right so like michael's could be <laughs> a corner store here and it can be a, you know, a sports shop somewhere else or a grocery store somewhere else. So we, I don't know what Michael's is. And based on the location, now I have heard people, you know, state that they, that Chimes blocked their card at certain locations. But there's no definite answer, you know, regarding that. So let me know in the comment section as well. Has that ever happened where... You know you got money in your account and Chimes blocked that transaction or that transaction didn't go through. I've heard about that. I've um, seen that happen before um, regarding that. But yeah, just to recap, this says your diabet uh, card was declined for $7.33 at Michael's. Transactions at this merchant are being blocked due to excessive fraud at this location. So if this seems like it is based on this, on this specific location where maybe they, they are dealing with a lot of fraud, maybe, you know, you just don't know. Maybe they are. So, yeah, let's get right to these comments. Um, if you guys ever experienced this, let me know in the comment section. Uh, somebody said it happened to me at a gas station one time i was able to use it later in the day at the same location so it does like that's a it does like it's temporary right um and i can't see chime for the most part you know if they say in it let's say at four o'clock i can't see them permanently like blocking it or or making it seem like you guys can't use your card at that location but i can't see it being temporary like I said, it sometimes it's time frames, you know, um, hot seasons or hot times where the fraud is is at an all time high, and they may do something like that. Somebody said, "Weird." I'm mostly worried about it because that's my workplace, so I can't really just never use my debit card there again. Glad to hear it will most likely resolve itself. Somebody said, or oh, as well, and I have to transfer to to my cash app. Now, if this happens, um, trust me, this this probably can be embarrassing. You know, imagine being up to the counter or, you know, you're wanting to buy something from this store or a store in general. And then you get an alert stating, you know, or you're getting declined because it's not 
it's they're not put you know they're not putting it through right now you know it's getting blocked so ma- imagine that as well you know imagine going to buy something and then you know you got the money but but you know they put that block on there so or they you know blocked it for fraud uh somebody said this has happened to me before but at 711 uh self explanatory use another card or pay cash now that I mean that sounds definitely self explanatory, but imagine if you just go into the store with only your chime card. <laughs> you know, maybe if you don't have cash, maybe all of your cash is on your chime card, so you guys gotta take all of that into consideration as well. But um trust me, I get it. You know, that's why it is good to bring a backup. It's good to have some extra cash or another card there just in case this happens. Um, because this does seem to happen more frequently than others. Somebody said, I highly recommend both. And if you only carry one, Chime's the last to choose. Well, maybe ahead of Cash App. Uh, You carry cash in my area, you won't be here for long. And that's true as well. So, like, it's one of those catch-22s, right, where, oh, it's not going to work, but I'm going to carry cash. But, you know, some of these locations and places, you can't, you just can't carry cash, you know. Somebody said, you can carry cash, better bring a lock too if anyone sees it. Okay, Memphis, all right. So I've gotten that message once when I ran my credit builder card and forgot I had turned it off. As soon as I turned it on, it went through, but haven't had any issues since. So maybe that is the case, you know, just double check and make sure your settings are on, meaning, um, and also check that you can actually use your card in certain locations and you can use it in general where you don't you didn't lock your card because a lot of people lock their card and then they may receive a message but they're still trying to get through that that card and for the most part it's blocked by chime so you're not going to be able to you know to do that somebody said yes the merch yes not the merchant is chime i have called the merchant and i have been told it is not them but to get in contact with my bank how did that go? <laughs> uh, same happened, or same happened to me, but they literally were stealing my account. I sent Chime the texts from these people. They had balls to text me and ask to buy my credit and to buy my debit card. Text from the same number. That number kept changing to uh, one bank account. So obviously, it's the same people. And Chime closed my account two different times and allowed these people to go back and reopen it two different times. So I am so far done with Chime. <laughs> They're a bunch of crooks and they don't even have a fraud department. Wow. I mean, I definitely understand. Obviously, when when stuff like that goes on, you don't want to be seen to... to um, to be the person but hey you know a lot's going on and you know i haven't received that you know so i'm going to still um you know continue to have time because i haven't I haven't experienced anything like that or of that nature somebody said turn on international transactions i did hear about that as well um where a lot of people have that feature turned off and the best bet is to turn it on and you won't have to deal with a lot of those issues as well all right, right there let's scroll back to the top if you guys got any questions feel free to drop those questions comments concerns below as always my name is quentin banks stay loyal stay blessed stay true stay you